Hi, this is Blaine Pertler with Pertler Electric, and the stator I have here is out of a 2001 ZR440. And this stator was used in 01 and the 440s. It's also used in the 800 twins, and then in 02 through roughly 05 with the 900 twins. So this stator was used on quite a few different models. There's basically two sides to this stator. There's the power side. We've got two, four, six coils here, and they have the larger gauge wire on those. And that powers your hand warmers and your lights and gauges and so forth. And the other part of the stator, the other side of it, is your ignition. We've got two, four, five. We've got these five here for your ignition. So this stator is actually very easy to check as far as uh, ohms and resistance and so forth. First thing we'll check is we've got our two plugs here and the four prong plug here on the right this is what plugs into your wiring harness and you've got your two yellow wires and that's your power so we've got our two yellows here there's our power and our other two uh, we've got our ground and our common here that's basically for our ignition switch turning the sled on and off the other plug here it's kind of you know white plug and that is your ignition plug and that's what plugs and goes to your uh, CDI box. So on this stator we don't have a lot of ohms on it. Uh, some of the other stators you have like 150 ohms, you have 450 ohms. This stator is a low ohm stator. You still have good output with it, voltage output, but it's a low ohm stator just because of the design. So what you can do is on your multimeter uh, usually put it on about the lowest setting you have. On mine it's 200. Uh, some people with a, with, a, uh, with a digital one or something, you know, they don't have uh, settings. You just have ohms and that's it. You put it on the ohm symbol, it just reads what it reads. So first thing we'll check is our power side to it. So we'll find, find your two yellow wires and we go ahead, doesn't matter if it's negative or positive, go ahead and plug those into the two female connectors there. And as you'll see on my multimeter, 0.4 ohms. We're basically just looking for continuity, just to make sure the wire isn't broken. So we know that our power is okay. You can also check your ground. Whenever I get a unit in to rewind, I check all of these. And I just check continuity to the ground. Usually if the ground's broke, it's out here by the eyelet somewhere. Um, once again, very low, 0.3, 0.4 ohms, and that's what it's supposed to be. But usually if it's broke, it'll be in the eyelet area here somewhere in that connector. So always check that. Now, moving on to our ignition side. Uh, once again, doesn't matter if you, uh, the positive or negative, which one it goes to. But we're just going to check the two connectors in there. So go ahead and connect one to one and one to the other. And we check our reading there. And once again, because of the wire size and so forth, the design of this stator, you're literally almost looking just for continuity, at least with the multimeter check. Uh, so we've got 0.9 ohms, and that tells you that you at least have continuity, that you know none of the connections in here, soldered connections, or the wire's broken anywhere. It doesn't mean 100% that the stator's okay. I've had a couple stators, people have returned to me, uh, or I shouldn't say returned, but actually have sent to me that ohmed out well and ohmed out good, but they were bad. I would send them another stator out, and they put it in, and their sled ran good. So there's always that possibility that uh, your stator could ohm out okay, but yet not put out the needed voltage to run the ignition on your sled. But like I say, this unit here was an 01 440. I uh, also worked in the 01 ZR800, uh, 02 uh, and beyond uh, ZR900, uh, whether it be uh, Flatlander or Mountain Sleds. But it gives you an idea what it looks like, uh, how it's wound, and then your connectors and how to check those. This has been Blaine Pertler for Pertler Electric. Thank you.